Yes. So welcome back to the glorified education. Once again, today we are going to discuss the chapter complex number. We have discussed 10 questions from the Pathfinder PYQs and that questions of Pathfinder. So now let's discuss the other set of questions. So I start with the 11th question. Let's see. So 11th question says a plus iota b plus c plus iota d plus e plus iota f plus g plus iota f is equal to a plus iota b. We have to find this expression. So we have to find this expression. Let's change the color for a time being. So now if I'm going to take modulus on both sides in this equation, but I will getting, I will getting a square plus b square under root like see, since modulus get divided into each factor uh, separately. So I'll be getting a square plus b square under root, then c square plus d square under root and then e square plus f square under root and then g square plus h square under root. That's basically uh, what we get on solving the what can I say modulus and on the right hand side, I'll be having a square plus b square and that's also under root. So if I square on both sides, so I'll be get this one as my answer option square on both sides and get your answer square on both sides and I'll get my answer that is a square plus b square. The question is easy one. Just we have to apply the modulus approach. Now, if the number one uh, power, okay, let me just correct the question. The question is little wrong. Uh, yes. Now the question is correct. We have. 1 minus iota power n upon 1 plus iota power n minus 2 is a real and positive. It means the imaginary part of this number is going to be 0. What does it mean? Like this means only. So if I take 1 minus iota and 1 plus iota to the power n. So I'll be having 1 plus iota to the power minus 2. So I can take it upward. And now if I see this 1 minus iota over 1 plus iota to the power n, I'll be just uh, like doing the conjugate multiplied like uh, simply uh, it will become 1 plus iota square the second step and let me just take <coughs> 1 minus iota 1 plus iota so 1 minus iota here 1 minus iota here and to the power n actually which we already have and 1 plus iota square will be 1 uh, minus 1 because iota square is minus 1 plus 2 iota so I think up to this level is correct this 1 and 1 cancel out so I'll be having 1 minus iota square and the denominator will be 1 square uh, minus iota square that is 1 plus 1 2 and I already have a 2 iota there so this 2 and 2 cancel out and actually we have okay sorry for this uh, this is basically 2 in the power that is 2 power n basically so 2 power n so we are left with like 2 will cancel with 2 power n I left with 2 power n minus 1 that's now so 1 minus iota power uh, 2 and the whole power n 2 power n minus 1 and iota. Now see one thing, if I uh, take this uh, basic, <coughs> basically square, so I get 1 plus iota square minus 2 iota and to the power n. So this will cancel out, so I get minus 2 power n, iota power n, iota already and 2 power n minus 1. So these are the real number, if I solve them, we find them real number. Now basically, if I see the imaginary part is iota power n plus 1. Now iota power n plus 1 if I see it if I take n equal to c we know what is iota power 0 it is 1 what is iota power 2 it is minus uh, 1 and iota power 1 is iota only and iota cube is nothing but minus iota and iota 4 is 1 we know this so it means only in the even power like 0 2 4 6 8 we get a real number so it means n should be equal to odd. Because n is odd, like n is 1, so I get iota square, n is 3, I get iota 4, n is equal to uh, some like 5, so I got iota 6. So this all even number get, and even number if I got, I will get a real part, and that is what all I need. Like I just need a real part only, imaginary part should be 0. So this means like my any odd integer. So any odd integer will be the answer. Yes, any odd integer you can put and you can get your answer. Now let's see the question number 13. If z1, z2 are complex number with z1 equal to z2 mode, and which of the following is are correct. So see, if I take Z1, this is question of about like uh, simple, I, if I say uh, thinking, like if I take Z1 as minus A plus iota B and Z2 as uh, like A minus iota B, then also we have conjugate of this, uh, sorry, modulus of Z1 is equal to A square plus B square and modulus of Z2 also A square plus B square. And if we can see like neither their imaginary part are equal, neither their real part are equal because uh, in this case we have minus A, in this case we have A, in this case we have B, in this case we have minus B basically. So neither their real part are equal, neither their imaginary part are equal, but since they, but still 
their modulus are equal so i can say uh, like none of the above like no statement is fixed for like this z1 should not be equal to z2 like z1 can be equal to z2 it's a case but z1 not equal to z2 can be also the case where z1 mode equal to z2 so this is like we have to understand with our basic thinking now let's move to the next question the next question is argument of this so this is basically let me correct it is iota basically here so uh, 1 minus sin theta plus iota cos theta so argument we know tan theta if you want to find out it is basically y by x y by x uh, so y means like uh, something with uh, like iota and x means this so it simply it becomes mod of cos theta over 1 minus sin theta and tan theta of this so it means if i want to find tan theta i'll get theta is equal to if i just do not consider mod for a time being so i'll be basically getting because i can see my options all options are like pi by 2 pi by 2 pi by 4 pi by 4 so basically things are going in the first quadrant type things so or, or otherwise i can assume the different things also but for a time being let assume tan inverse just a minute this is tan inverse of uh, cos theta over 1 minus sin theta fine and what else i have yes so now cos theta 1 minus sin theta can be converted as uh, do one thing uh, just write cos theta as cos square theta minus sin square theta by 2 sorry that is theta is equal to tan inverse of cos square theta by 2 minus sin square theta by 2 and just write your sin theta as 2 sin theta by 2 and cos theta by 2 and one more thing write one as sin square theta by 2 plus cos square theta by 2 plus cos square theta by 2 that's all now our work is uh, like about to be done so i can write basically let me take another page theta equal to tan inverse theta equal to tan inverse and denominator i'll be having cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 and in denominator i will be having uh, cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 whole square you can see like if i take backward it is cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 uh, like minus i can take anyway because it's whole square so if i see uh, this part and this part is cancelling out now i left with theta equal to tan inverse cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 upon cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 now if i divide with cos theta by 2 in numerator as well as in denominator i'll be having theta equal to tan inverse 1 plus tan theta by 2 upon 1 minus tan theta by 2 and we know 1 plus tan theta by 2 and upon 1 minus tan theta by 2 is nothing but theta is equal to tan inverse of tan of pi by 4 plus theta by 2 this view know you can convert and can find so my answer will be pi by 4 plus theta by 2 so i can match the option i can see the answers like pi by 4 plus theta by 2 let me just check so pi by 4 plus theta by 2 is the option let me take this screen pan so this d is my answer basically now let's move, uh, move towards the last question for today and then we will see next uh, things in the next session so if the cube root of the unity are 1 omega and omega square then the roots of equation this now if you see the root equation the equation is x minus 1 whole cube plus 8 equal to 0 so basically what i have been doing i have been doing like x minus 1 whole cube is equal to minus 8 now taking power 1 by 3 on both sides and met with x uh, minus 1 that is minus 8 power 1 by 3 now i can take minus 1 power 1 by 3 and 2 power 1 by uh, sorry 8 power 1 by 3 will be 2 basically because 2 cube and 2 cube power 1 by 3 is basically 2 so i'll be having 2 minus 1 power 1 by 3 now for minus uh, 1 power 1 by 3 we know three things 1 omega and omega square so basically i'll be having basically i'll be having x minus 1 is equal to 2 into 1 and x minus 1 equal to 2 into omega and x minus 1 mm, just wait for a minute yes x minus 1 is equal to this uh, 2 times omega square so if i just solve this out i'll be getting uh, like in the first case uh, okay so one mistake like uh, just a silly mistake this is so like we know x minus 1 x cube minus 1 cube that is equal to 0 if you take so we get x cube is equal to 1 uh, cube and then i have take like x cube minus 1 that's only max one. so there we are having minus omega and minus omega square so just put minus omega and minus omega square here so i'll be getting 
स्टिल आई गेटिंग समथिंग रॉन्ग ओके माइनस टू है सो माइनस टू प्लस वन इज माइनस वन सो माइनस वन सो माइनस वन एंड वन माइनस टू मेगा एंड वन माइनस टू मेगा स्क्वायर सो माई ऑप्शन बी विल भी करेक्ट आंसर जस्ट मैच इट आउट यू विल गेट द करेक्ट आंसर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी नेक्स्ट थिंग्स इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन